Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm now joined by Lee Smith, the VP Managing Director, Insights in Data UK Consulting at Capgemini, along with Dan Waters, Regional Vice President of EMEA Partners at Snowflake. Gentlemen, such a pleasure to be with both of you Thank here Thank you today. for having us. Thanks, Ryan. Great to be here. Lee, Capgemini has leveraged technology to enable business transformation for more than 50 years. 85% of the Forbes Global 2000 list are your clients. How does your data foundation allow the team to adapt to the ever-changing needs of your global customers? I think what we're seeing now, Ryan, is obviously a huge explosion in opportunity around data driven by the explosion around AI since, uh, since GPT came out. Um, what we're seeing is that organizations, they really need to understand what data they can get access to. They need to make that data accessible. They need to have trust in that data, uh, which means having a strong data foundation. And they also need to be data literate as well, which all of those things together will enable them to unlock value in their data. And we, we talk about that as being data masters. And we did a survey recently or some research recently and 17% of organizations, only 17% of organizations can be considered data masters. Wow. Which is, it, it's actually an improvement, but it means that there's obviously a lot more that organizations can do. Thank you, Lee. Dan, the AI data cloud empowers its ecosystem of partners to do more faster. How are the teams working together to deliver scalable impact across your collective ecosystem? And as it relates to Capgemini, what are you noticing? Yeah, it's a great question. Thanks, Ryan. I think the, 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 the word to, to really capture what we're doing with Capgemini at the moment, how we're partnering together is, is, is intentionality. So this year, and we've had a phenomenal year, really, really ironing out how we go to market together and, and how we capture markets together. So we've been focused on, we've got a six year partnership with Capgemini. They're a global elite partner, but we've been working in EMEA to really double down on uh, capability, on certifications, on accreditations. We've been working with Capgemini on the Empower program to educate and enable hundreds and hundreds of Capgemini uh, talent, both in EMEA and offshore in, in India to really be able to deliver the, uh, the, the outcomes and the expertise that, that we need in the field to really go faster with our, with our joint clients. So we've agreed a joint business plan at a global level that has had lean in and support from the ELT on both sides of the organization. Uh, and we're really building in terms of joint investments, joint assets to really capture the market together and really present our customers with a better together message as it pertains to Snowflake and Capgemini. So I think really this year we've, we've achieved a lot in terms of getting that foundation right in terms of how we empower each other to really have those business transformational discussions. Thank you for that, Dan. Gentlemen, we're currently in London at Snowflake World Tour. Why was it so pivotal for both Snowflake and Capgemini to show up big? Dan would love your perspective. Well, I mean, you know, you have to look around the uh, the floor here. You know, nearly nearly three thousand attendees. We had over seven thousand registrations for for Snowflake World Tour in in London. It's always a showcase event for us. And I think on the background of you know what I just talked to in terms of the evolution of the partnership, I think Capgemini, the only partner that is actually working with us to this level at every single one of our world tours around around Amir, which is a big investment from Capgemini's perspective. And it's great to have them part of our community as as we build this through. Snowflake, actually with, with Capgemini, we're, we're one of the first GSIs to start in working with Snowflake way, way back when in 2020. And then we had a little pause in the middle when unfortunately COVID kind of slowed us down. So we're really back to kind of re-acceleration mode, looking at how we go to market together. It's really key that we join forces to, to figure out how we solve large data transformational uh, projects within our joint clients. Looking at things around building the foundations of a, of a modern data platform to really then realize the value that AI can deliver and the promise that AI can deliver. But to do that, you've got to have a solid core data foundation. And that's where we're working with Capgemini to really bring that to our clients in a governed and secure way and using Capgemini's strong reach and capability and, uh, and, and customers to really achieve that together. Thank you, Dan and Lee, we'd love your perspective. Yeah, I think there are, there are three points why it's really important for us in Capgemini to, to not just attend, but be heavily involved in events like this. I think number one is to demonstrate support for our, our partner Snowflake. It's a, it's a big event for you guys. Obviously, we need to demonstrate support for that. And, and by doing that as well, we're also building relationships with some of the people in, in Snowflake. When we go to our clients, by having strong relationships with the Snowflake team, obviously it means that we can collaborate much more easily, which means that we can deliver more success for our customers. So that's the first point. 
Secondly, I think we'll be kidding ourselves if we try and pretend that the technology doesn't change. The pace of change is huge at the moment. So for, for our team to come to events like this and see Snowflake's developments in terms of their technology, but also some of the, uh, the partners as well is really important. And then the third point is, you know, customers. We have a number of customers who are here as well, so we can spend time with them out of a working environment, build relationships with them together with Snowflake as well. And delivering projects successfully for customers is not just about delivering technology. It's about building relationships so we understand our customers really well. And being able to do that in environments like this is really important. It's very much the power of the collective ecosystem. It's, it's having little chats, little conversations over coffee. You understand what their priorities are. Sometimes you don't get those opportunities when you're working in the day-to-day -day lifestyle. Great to hear, Lee. Now, let's look towards the future and explore AI. As you both look out, what will be the differentiator for the companies that succeed versus the ones that are left behind? Lee, let's start with you. I mentioned earlier on, obviously, there's a huge explosion in AI since ChatGPT came out. Um, the, the interest is, is immense out there. Um, we have been doing AI for a number of years before ChatGPT. You know, it's just it's part of, I think it's been called old-fashioned ML in some of the talks that we've been to today. So we've been doing that for a number of customers for, for a number of years. What we're seeing at the moment in terms of AI is that organizations are using it to improve the way they work. So that may be to improve the way they interact with their customers, or it may be to gain efficiencies in how they uh, operate, which is all good, because they'll make some incremental improvements on their business. The organizations who really excel will be the ones who transform. Uh, and to be able to transform, you really need to understand the capabilities of AI, but you also need that strong data foundation, that trusted data foundation to deliver it. So trusted AI, trusted data, and I'm gonna call it AI literacy within organizations, which then means you've got the knowledge and the understanding to do more transformational projects around your businesses. Very well said, Lee. Dan, from your seat. Yeah, completely agree with, with Lee's commentary around that. It really comes down to simplicity and security. So customers need access to their data, right? Quality data, enterprise data, that they can easily implement then the right AA solution for them on, on top of that data. Snowflake enables them to do that, picking the models of their choice. Capgemini enables them to do that in terms of the transformational skill set and expertise they can overlay on top of that. The current rate of Gen AI use case is actually going into production. As, as Lee said, everyone's trialing Gen AI. Everyone's kind of thinking, what can it do for their organization? But the current, current rate of Gen AI use case is actually going into production is around 20%. So it's still, it's still pretty low. So working together with, with partners like Capgemini with their expertise, really working on the enterprise data platform and giving the customers confidence to deploy those Gen AI models will help raise that rate of, of, of use cases going into production and ultimately realize real business value in terms of the solutions that that provides. So, so really that's what I think we can see together moving forward. I think it's a really interesting point about the, the number of proof of concepts organizations are doing. And I think one of the things that we advocate from Capgemini is don't focus on the proof of concept. Right? Because if you focus on the proof of concept, it will typically end at that point. Yes. So focus on the end-to-end -end process with the proof of concept being one step towards the end, which is the business value. So designing that end-to-end -end business model for how you do implement AI is really important. And these journeys don't stop. We've been working with Capgemini since it says in 2020, and we've been working with clients such as BMW, La Poste, AXA, yeah. Ericsson, that we've served very well together. But now there's opportunities to then you know, really look at what the next stage of that evolution is and really how do we work together to solve business challenges that these organizations still face in terms of how they're thinking about Gen AI and how they're bringing the data to those Gen AI models using Snowflake and Capgemini to do that. So a lot of work to do, but we're really excited about the future. Well, gentlemen, I'm looking forward to seeing what comes next. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Thank, Thank you, Ryan. Ryan. Thanks very much. Thanks, Thank Lee. You. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. We'll see you soon.